Hello guys and welcome back to this tutorial. Today I'm going to explain how you can create a web portal using WordPress and Elementor Pro. So if you watched my previous video on how to create these logins, right, using Ultimate Member, now I'm going to explain how you can create this uh, web portal just using few Elementor Pro techniques, right? So it's a cool feature that you can create here as a web portal, right? So then you have page one, page two, you can display different page in that layout, okay? I call web portal because that could be a behind the login, just using this ultimate member, right? If you're just gonna log out, you just go and that's it and it's restricted. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is access to your WordPress backend and access to Elementor Pro. So here in Elementor Pro under templates, we're just going through theme builder. So what we are going to do is create this kind of theme portal or the base of this single page is called actually single page that allows you to create this view. Okay, I already have it here. It's pretty simple. I'm just gonna do it with you as well. Is I'm just gonna create a new one. So and then we can have the same structure, right? So if you go here, it will open a new single page. What we are going to do now is, I normally select here single page, but for some reason it doesn't display. No problem, no worries. So we can just keep going with what we have. You will see here, right, that now we are just going to drop a few elements. In that case, I wanna get flex box. And I'm gonna split that into I uh, containers. So here in the first one, I'm just gonna add the menu. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through widgets and I'm just gonna type menu. Okay, so you look for menu and it displays that way. What we want also is to, in the here in the right side, is add the post content. What the post content, it will be the information that it displays from the page, okay? So that information it will pull the information from the actual page, post, or whatever is on this page. We're just creating the template, okay? And now we are gonna do some uh, design, uh, okay? So we want to have this as a content width, full width, okay? And then, um, and then what we can do is just here, uh, instead to have 50%, we're just gonna go through maybe 20% and then keep the rest, which is all of that, to 100%, okay? Cool, so one more thing that we can do is just give this uh, menu background different color. So we're just gonna go here, style, background type, and as you can see there, so you can choose the color that you already have. Yeah, I have it here, okay? And what we are going to do now is going through the menu and different layout. So horizontal, vertical, it will be a good point. As uh, it's getting this menu, what we need to do is create a menu for that portal, right? So for that, I recommend to go back here as this menu screen. It will open a new one and you can go and create a new menu, okay? So you can just go here, create a new menu. Let's gonna call it create a new menu and then you go and type menu portal or whatever you wanna call it, right? So here I already have one, so it's fine. And then in here, what we can do is add the page or actions that we want to add in uh, this menu section, right? So for instance, we can add a menu, we can add the logout and we can add three pages that we want them to, to display in that web portal, okay? And you can organize them. So as you can see here, you have one, two, one, two, three, okay? And we can create even subcategories. It's, it's depending what do you want to display in there, right? Imagine that you want to do a service, okay? So you can add the service and this servicing can be under the page one. That's depending how you want to do it, okay? So if we save it, let's gonna save it. And then let's go back to the theme, which is here. And I'm just gonna, um, for now, I just want to, Pub if I publish, right, this is what we need to do. I don't think it will be able to do it because it's already here. You need to refresh, but if we refresh, we can probably lose the information. Thanks God 
that it is not uh, gone so it's here and then now you go and it will display the menu portal too so in here you got the accounts page page even you can see in there okay what we can do is change this instead to be down it could be right and then if it's right it will make more, more sense because it will be going that to, to the right okay cool so as you can see this is giving a little bit of padding so what we're going to do is select this container and then we're going to give the uh, minimum height is here to achieve the whole container full um width and height. Yes, i'm just gonna use that i don't know what is that but i'm just gonna do it here okay and then go and give this um option so it's just the whole um as you can see here we're just gonna give the whole height okay and that's it so in there just going back to the menu and then change the color let's gonna put this white okay and also you can go here in the pointer and the line you can change that style and go to the hover and then pointer color we're going to change that to white as well remember publish as a save and what do you want to display that is in the all, whole pages be careful with that because if you use that all your page it will have this theme or this single page so saying that i will explain how to assign the page that you want to do it right so i'm just going to save this for now right and Okay, congratulations, now is that. So if I'm going to the home page, be careful with that before to going ahead, because I want to tell you. Okay, so now I'm going to log in. I already logged in, sorry, in here, home. Okay, this home is it, it, it's not taking this uh, theme, but be, the reason is because in here, the settings is page a layout with full width. If I do theme, you will see that now it will display the whole theme, the, the theme that I already created. So be careful with that. You just need to assign what page you want to have this ele elemental profile width or the theme, right? Um, going back to what we have in here. So you, what we can do is give a little bit of gap or padding. So let's gonna give a padding in that boxes, right? So we can just click here and give padding. Um, okay and let me see how that displays it's not bad let me do this this you need to go through all the paddings so you can just go here and that's it update and that's it voila so you can just probably give exactly give here the same thing padding let's gonna put that in there 60 and if you want to create more gap in between just go in vertical and give more gap okay if you if you would like to add more items or more widgets you can as well okay you can just go here and start adding the uh widgets that you would like probably if you want to add social media i don't know depends what you want to add it just put it here and that's as an example right and you can just go there and add it as white and then here you can pick that that depends what do you want to do okay so let me do this and then rounded circle and you can do these kind of things depends what do you want to have on that menu okay uh let me do this a little bit that's too big and then you can just remove that in facebook and youtube probably and type this on the left align this on the left okay so now we're gonna update and I want to go back and see how display on my web page. So remember to create this login page is on the ultimate member that you have here. I'm just gonna put that in the description or even on the label so you can just go and 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 watch how to create this login page and um and the membership or the membership content. Okay, so you go here to your account, and that's it. As you can see here, it displays the account display the page one and if we're going to the service it will display the service if we have a service page two page three and we can log out okay 
So this is the way how you can create a web portal or customer portal in your WordPress website using Elementor Pro. And also don't forget if you have this page and then you want to have this as a restriction content, right? So remember to go to edit and here at the bottom of the page, restrict access to this post. Otherwise that page, it will be visible. And we don't want that if you have a web portal or you um a customer portal that be visible to the public okay cool so please uh let me know if you have any questions in the comments below like this video if you feel like this is quite interesting subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next one